In today's video, I will teach you how to do the world's most iconic car flourish. And let me show you what it looks like. Roll the intro. My name is Bao, I'm a professional magician and I've been doing magic for over 15 years. And if you're curious about magic and cardistry, then you're on the right channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you might be wondering why I'm in such a great mood. Well, guess what? Look at this. Creator on the rise, baby, let's go! We're going to the moon. We're going from Earth to the moon. Earth to moon. And then to Mars. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just extremely excited. All of this wouldn't have been possible without you. So thank you so much for being part of this community, for being a subscriber, for watching all my videos, and for liking all my videos as well. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to hit like. Also, we are so freaking close to 100,000 subscribers. We're right now at this much. So yeah, it's so close. I can feel it. The, the plaque is basically mine at this point. Close. Enough with all that talk, let's get to the tutorial. And for this one, you will definitely need a lot of practice. What I recommend is for you to practice over a bed or over a table. But as long as you have something that can help you pick up all the cards, uh, that's gonna be really helpful because it is pretty much guaranteed that you will be dropping some cards. I might even drop some cards while filming this tutorial. It happens to everyone. So grab yourself a deck of cards. I'm using my Boba playing cards. And if you'd like to get a deck, they will be available as soon as all our Kickstarter backers have received their decks. If you'd like to get one, you can sign up in the newsletter below and you will be notified as soon as they are available in limited quantities. So any deck of cards, I recommend poker size decks and anything printed by the USPCC, such as the bicycle playing cards. Now, just a little side note, I highly recommend you to go through the tutorial and then at the very end, I will always do a quick recap. So in the future, if you come back to this video, you can go straight to the quick recap and uh, just get a quick refresh on uh, the grips and, and the stuff that you need to know in order to do the spring. So hope this helps. So just so you know, I am right-handed. This is my right hand. However, I hold the deck with my left hand. That is because when you deal cards, you deal with the right hand and you hold the deck with the left hand. So deck in left hand. So this is your usual mechanics grip. However, you'll be using the straddle grip, which means that your pinky will be here. So no matter what angle, you can always straddle the deck and it will stay in place. And this will be super important for the spring. So now that you know the straddle grip, here's the grip for the spring with the other hand. So my right hand is actually holding the deck like this. So I can show you from the bottom here. So notice that my pinky is on the side and my ring finger is right here. In terms of depth of uh, the, my fingers, it's about here. Okay, and now the deck is really at the edge of my thumb like this. What happens is that instead of my thumb just pushing down, I actually extend my thumb and then I, I kind of like squeeze the whole deck like this. That's actually gonna create a pocket of air in between all the cards like this. And what this does is that it helps uh, you spring each card individually one at a time. So it doesn't come out in chunks, uh, by doing this here, it allows you to feel each and every single card off your thumb. So a grip recap, your fingers like this, you can see the side like this, and then you can see the back like this, and the side like this. Now with the thumb, I'm going to create that pocket of air. So you really extend the thumb, and then you're gonna push each and every single card out like this. So that's gonna create that pocket of air, okay? So that's what's gonna happen once uh, you're ready to uh, launch that spring. Now, when you start doing the spring, don't start all the way up here, okay? Don't start all the way up here because uh, you want control first. Control is very important. You start with control and then you will create distance. So now we are going to focus on control. You're just going to launch the spring in your hands like this first. Fair enough. So in order to spring the cards, the cards will actually slip off the thumb right here. So the more you squeeze, eventually this card will fall off and then the next one, the next one. And then the more pressure you add, the more you'll be able to spring all the cards together. 
and in one seamless motion, you'll be able to create the spring. Now what's important about the spring is that you wanna be able to catch it. I see people, they tend to do it on their stomach like this. That's not a great habit. You want to catch the cards in straddle grip. So your pinky is actually super important in this, okay? So you want, boom, your pinky to be right here. So catching the card is super important. Do you remember straddle grip with the pinky right here? So that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna catch the cards in straddle grip. Uh, what's different about straddle grip is that your pinky is here so that no matter how messy your spring is, well, minus this, you can always squeeze everything together and straddle the deck and square the deck like this so that it stays in one place. But what's important is that this straddle grip will create some sort of funnel to catch all the cards. So it won't land all neatly in the same place, but however, you're, you're creating this bowl that's gonna catch everything. So just like this, it's a little bit messy, but then you can just squeeze everything together so that it's neat. What's important is to create this rhythm, right? And what's gonna create this good rhythm is for you to be able to create these pockets of air. And then as you slowly release in a steady rhythm, it's gonna allow you to create a bigger spring. Now, just to clarify what that steady rhythm is, is uh, it's basically this. The cards are all falling in the same rhythm. Unlike a unsteady rhythm, something that's more choppy, uh, this is what it would look like. Once you're in the air, there's a lot more distance, but if you break that rhythm, it's gonna create the big space in the spring, which is gonna break the spring, and that's how things kind of fall apart. So what's important is to have a steady spring, a spring that is not choppy like this. And what's important is for you to be able to catch it. And I find that the pinky plays a huge role here by stopping all the cards from falling through the fingers. The pinky is really there to block all the cards and keep them neat, okay? Now, the more consistent you are with the rhythm, the bigger you can create the spring. So let me demonstrate. You can start small like this and then you can keep going like this, and then you can keep going like that, and then you can go as big as that. How crazy is this? In order to create that distance, you gradually build it up during the spring. So you don't see me start like this and then catch everything. See, I just dropped everything. Little moment, please. Instead of starting from afar, uh, you always start from here and then gradually build up. Either the two hands kind of separate from each other and then go back in the same spot, or it can start from below, the spring becomes bigger, and then the other hand follows up like this. So it kind of creates an illusion that the spring is a lot bigger than it actually is. So really the secret sauce behind the spring is rhythm, and a very good straddle grip. You need to know how to catch the cards. You have a very good grip and you, as you spring, you kind of know the trajectory of that spring. Therefore, you'll be able to adjust that straddle grip accordingly, okay? So it's gonna be like this. As long as you master this very consistent rhythm and that very, uh, and you have a very good straddle grip, that will allow you to create a much, much, much bigger spring. Now, I hope that was helpful. And if you ever need to revisit the spring, I will always have a quick recap in my videos uh, near the end. So check it out.
Now, of course, if you're not able to do this just yet, that is totally normal. It does take some practice, but keep practicing, uh, keep adjusting your grip, keep uh, making some micro adjustments and see what works for you. And hopefully by uh, within a few hours of practice, you'll be able to at least get a little spring down. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out the rest of my channel where I teach you some more magic and cardistry and I have so many more planned for the future. Now, in the meantime, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you know exactly when I release my next video. And just so that I know that you made it all the way till the end of the video, be sure to write spring in the comments. So I'll see you in the next video and hopefully by then we'll make it to 100K subscribers. All right, 